Hello Divination, this video is about understanding and using Divi's relative position. Let's dive in and check it out. All right, so to demonstrate how the relative positioning works, I've gone ahead and added a section here, a row, and this time I'm using a video module. But of course, this can be can be an image module, blurb, it can be anything. And the relative positioning can also be used on rows, sections, and so on. To just further, or to just to make it easy for me to show you this, I am using this video here. All right, so the relative position type is similar to the static position because the element remains in the normal flow of the document, HTML on the page. The real difference is once you assign an element as a relative position, it makes new positions available for positioning the element. These options include top, bottom, left, right, and so on. So let me just show you quickly what that looks like. So if I come over here into my module settings, come over here to advanced position, and let's go on to relative. In fact, relative here is uh, chosen. So these are the points I'm talking about. So it's um, top, left, right, bottom and left. Okay, so these positions include uh, bottom, left, right uh, positions, as well as the Z index property. So you can see here the Z index is here as well. So if you want to make sure that this item here is above everything, you just play around with the positioning here and give it a very high number. All right. So let's say you want to use offsets with relative positioning. All you have to do is making sure you choose your position here, which is top left in this example. Uh, you can add a specific value. So let's say 100. So you can see there I've just moved my video and I can offset it to the right as well. So there we go, 100 as well. So this uh, allows us to pretty much have this at the right position that you want. Now, another quick thing I also want to show you is once you've added your relative positioning, uh, if you close that settings uh, panel, you can come over here and hover over and see that you now have this little icon which allows us to specifically position this wherever we want. So that's the advantage of this. You can do this visually, okay? Now, let's say you want to use the top right offset. So what you could do is, again, you can come back over here, click on position, and then you go over here to the top right and then use this as your offset origin. So this will be your offset or origin and you can also play around with this if you need to as well. So pretty much you can choose any origin and then apply your offset values. So again, let's say I want to use the bottom here. I can choose bottom and then I can move this wherever I want. So as you can see, this is the origin. So pretty much this bottom left here is the origin that I need to offset with. If I come over here, it changes the origin as well. Look at that. Now it can go up and down, but using that position there as the origin, which is the bottom right. And then, of course, I've done this already. This is the top left. I mean, top right, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I get this top right, top left uh, confused. All right, so I'm just going to reset this now that we know how to use this. Now, with relative positioning, the actual space of the element remains in its original place after the element is moved using the offset bottom, left, top, right. The element's new position doesn't move or affect any of the spacing of the rest of the elements on the page. This basically hovers over the other elements like a spirit over its body. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I thought I'd just use that. Right, reasons to use the relative position, basically to render a parent container for absolutely positioned elements. Two, it could be to move elements without affecting other elements on the page and to use Z index for overlapping other elements. Also to avoid using negative margin or it can be to avoid using negative margin for position purposes. All right, so pretty much this is what covers relative positioning. Now, I know I just pretty much browsed over the main elements, but if you want to really understand how relative position works, there is an article which I'll link to in the video description below. You can go ahead, check it out. It's, uh, it's in detail and it talks about uh, how relative positioning works also with other features that we have in Divi. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.